What up, YouTube? This is Getty Video back at you with another video. I want to give a double salute to all of my supporters and anyone watching this video right now. And if you're new here, please like, comment, subscribe, and join the Getty Gang. Why don't you let's get to the content? Okay, man. Y'all already know Wag 100 and Jay Prince and Jay Prince Jr. got some type of issue, and it don't look like there's going to be no resolve anytime soon man well whack 100 speaks on j prince once again man speaking about his camp speaking about all of the internal issues he's got going on and he even doubles down on the alleged shooting that was supposed to take place at a family member's house man and whack 100 is saying that j prince is not feeding the people according to text messages that he says he receives out of houston from an insider of the family man he's saying that he'd rather have 10 good people around them rather than a hundred man because you can't make all of them happy and he's saying that jay prince may have some snakes in his camp it is interesting i'm gonna let y'all get to it shout out to wag 100 shout out to 100 ent this is getty radio let's go What's up with you and Jay Prince again? Why y'all beefing still? What? What you mean? Oh no, I just been. I, you know me. I it don't. I shut down their little cabinet ring down there. Told everybody, but they got loaded dice. They mad. No. The city, the city tripping now. Niggas is thinking about the rent money and mortgage money and shit they lost. Niggas is on the run, on the move down there tripping up houses and shit. You know, basic shit. Oh, wow. They reaching out. Talking Frank, about you know you ain't had no business to slip the <laughs> What? How good of you? What happened with Slim Tug? Wait, you did something else. I tell you. No, I told him. I don't know if that's a subliminal. Slim Thug, I with you but if you talking to me and you mention my name i'm expose your ass that's all i told him i mentioned one name he know what's going on i'm all in a minute listen them people got too many people around them. if i send you some shit right now you'll lose your mind that nigga said whack on we right up under this nigga and we ain't eating we got all this shit here go this here go that here go this <laughs> how they think i that's what's driving them crazy Cause I know this shit when it happened, when it's going on, I know right when it happened. So they, they over there going nuts. I came on there, I said, yo, just told me, whack, I with this nigga J. Prince Jr. He was on the phone. I heard him talking to somebody, talking about 80 to 100 people, okay, cool. He called one of his homies and said, stay from over there. Them folks gonna come through there and sweep 80 to 100 people. The next day, niggas hit my room and said, whack. They just picked up 88 people, my nigga, in Fifth Ward in the whole area. How the you do that? I said, I was in the hotel room with him. She, she told me. So they just, you know, they didn't play with the wrong nigga. I keep telling niggas, YouTube is my biggest reach. As soon as they hear me getting into it with a nigga, every nigga don't like you. Every nigga got a problem with you, got some issues with you, they send it to me. They shall do. That's why when niggas be like, how he be knowing, nigga? Because your people send it, you stupid. Watch this. The internet, one of the greatest damn weapons that oh, anybody yeah. can have. Look at this shit right here. This one just came today. Train, this how, this how scandalous these niggas is over there, boy. Them niggas think they shit tight. That nigga said, I'm his family right up under this nigga. I send you everything. I'm just starving and broke. <laughs> what? I'm finna send it to you. They shot the nigga out my house up last night. When I said that, he said, No. That up. Them niggas like, I know the fuck know that. I said, nigga, they just shot your house up in Fifth Ward. She 104 years old. That's. Good. They ain't respecting you. That's it. Train, look at what I just said. You sure ain't lying because my cousin lived right around the corner from that lady. That 
woke up last night, spun the block three times on it, didn't you? Just hit it once. Look at that, what I just sent you, Trey. I want to see. <laughs> Throw a dog above. <laughs> this is crazy. He said it to you, Nisha. <laughs> yeah. It's a. I'm about to say, I want to say that. Huh? Is that bad work or what? That's bad work. That throw a dog a ball who sent me. Huh? <laughs> huh? What, what do I get? Ain't asking for much. Throw a dog a ball. And you get the info. And I'm I'm a text away when anything happens. Like anything you need to know. I'm his blood relative. If he don't do shit for this side of the family. I'm with him two, three days out of the week. I have full access, pictures, videos, inside info before anyone. And the niggas, he didn't send me all, all the info. So I know he what he is. <clears throat> Here you go. This is next move. This, they, they got the loaded dice. They bring the artists in town, do security, take them to shoot the dice, hit them with the loaded dice, get 30%. These are three niggas they use to shoot the dice. I just shut his whole operation down, playing with him on cloud. He mad over there. You looking at it. I got 50 of them type of niggas everywhere. Whoever feed the people, lead the people. You got this, man. How you got it? <laughs> By whack. I'm done. I'm with I, I ain't even let the other shit go on how the boy get killed. See, I ain't even talked about that yet. He know, because Junior know I didn't hint it at her. Right, boy, you them twins you know what you did in that club boy keep talking we're gonna talk about it but now the now they looking at him like yo what what what, what I talking about the houston blogs is really appreciating it that's deep yeah that nigga said man how you know we went and checked they house up last night i know they did his own family is telling his son is working with the people his family is mad because they ain't eating that nigga got snakes around him. His private cook is mad because he didn't brought up some jury and denied denied his raise. Said, nigga, how much, how much it cost to inject one of them steaks with oh, nigga? What it cost? Everything, now that's deep. Everything around him fucked up and he don't even realize it. Give me 10 good men instead of 100. Cause you can't make nope. all them happy. All right, we gonna leave it right there, y'all. Let me know what y'all think about this audio, man. Wack 100 speaking on his issues with Jay Prince, Jay Prince Jr. Even threw a little bit of Slim Thug up in there, man. Said if Slim Thug would have said his name, he got some information on Slim Thug pertaining to some contracts, like he said early on. I don't know what's really going on with that. Allegedly, Jay Prince is extorting or demanding three percent of every rapper's cut up out of Houston for quite some time man i have to say allegedly here but you know we don't know that if that's true or not but slim thug ain't really came out and said nothing and that went viral so i'm pretty sure the information that whack 100 had to say or the things that whack 100 had to say about slim thug has gotten back to slim thug at some point man but let me speak on this j prince thing man a lot of y'all are saying it's not true some people from the fifth water calling up or hitting the comment section some people from houston is hitting the comment section saying hey that they ain't heard no information about that they ain't said nothing about that listen it's gonna go up on the internet anyway man so you can't really be mad at the fact that it's gone and it's hitting the blog why because everyone is going to report on what whack 100 has to say and whack is saying he got inside information whack is saying he got somebody in the family whack is saying he got enemies of jay prince that hit him up or enemies of anybody that hit him up whenever he speak about things from whatever side of the country he's speaking on he said he gets text messages all the time from people that don't like those individuals that are willing to share expose deny and support whatever claims whack 100 is putting online man so it is what it is and this is the era that we're living in today man the age of the internet man it's all entertainment right but whack 100 is saying that jay prince has snakes in his family man listen it's always the people that's closest to you that can really expose you man all you got to do is tell a person no one time especially if they know you're filthy rich you got plenty of money and they're not willing to foot your bills take care of you and treat you like a child that's what people get up
upset they get disgruntled and they start to expose information man this happens to the rich all the time man that's why they say more money more problems right because you can't keep everybody happy it's virtually impossible especially if you got a large family and you got losers in your family and you got people that just won't get it together people he probably tried to help out before in the past now they're upset that he won't just give them fifty thousand hundred thousand pay all of their bills give them a down payment for a mortgage give them a car whatever the case may be they're probably upset at the fact that he won't do that or will no longer do that anymore and now they're exposing him man sometimes you got to feel bad for the rich but hey what's good for the goose is good for the gander and it is what it is man listen just think about what happened with Drake and the Kendrick Lamar beef? How did Kendrick Lamar get all of that sensitive information about Drake, right? From the inside of his camp, he had a disgruntled insider, man, taking pictures of medicine bottles and things like that, man, recording things, sending information from inside the camp that's how he got exposed man you're always vulnerable from the inside when you have a fortress around you it's really the people that's on the inside that can crack those walls man and infiltrate your security and release your sensitive information and let everybody know what's really going on behind closed doors when you look like you're invincible really your kryptonite can be sometimes your family or the people you have right next to you man and unfortunately if you got too many people around you in your camp it's hard to tell who the snakes are man but i will say this man maybe it's time for the prince family to do some house cleaning man maybe it's time for the prince family to do some soul searching look on the inside maybe look at where the issues are maybe look at who's disgruntled and get them people away from them man because unfortunately for them somebody is giving whack 100 information whether you guys agree that it's real or not somebody is feeding him something and every time whack 100 gets something he's gonna put it out there but he did say he's holding on to one little piece of information about jay prince jr man pertaining to something that happened in a club down there i don't know what it is if y'all know what it is man hit the comment section and let me know man but whatever it is i'm gonna be right here to cover it for you man y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section man this has been getty radio i appreciate you being here please like comment subscribe i will catch you guys on the flip side peace